already in paying their bills. And in October, those bills, those energy bills, are going to go through the roof, um, up from just under about £2,000 to £3,500, and then up again in January to £4,200. And many people are going to really, really struggle. So we have a choice. We either allow the oil and gas companies to continue to make huge profits whilst every family suffers, or we do something about it. We, the Labour Party, are not going to stand by. We've got a fully costed plan that says we will keep those prices down. We will not allow these rises to happen, and we are going to have a windfall tax on the oil and gas companies uh, to pay for it. And that is the right compromise because we're standing with those people who are struggling to pay their bills. What about in the longer term, if we get to say next winter and the price cap's still at, you know, £4,000 or thereabouts, what then? Well, this plan will take us through this winter and there are so many people that are anxious about what's going to happen in the autumn, anxious that they can't pay their bills. So this is a real answer, a costed answer to them. The complete opposite of what you got from the government who are saying absolutely nothing. True it is that in the mid-term and the long term we need other plans. That's why a year ago I said we've got to start insulating our houses properly, bring the bills right down in the first place, like a massive difference but we also need to absolutely have a sprint on renewables like um, solar on tidal and on wind so that we're not perpetually in this situation we need to make sure we're not so reliant on the international market which is driving these prices would you continue with the plan though if it is the price cap is at four thousand pounds a year and how would you pay for that well look we've got to assess the situation in april when we get to the situation in april but the question i'm answering is what are you going to do to help all of those households that are going to struggle so much during the course of the winter and we put a costed plan saying uh, we'll hold those prices make sure they don't go up we have a windfall tax on oil and gas companies who are making huge profits they didn't expect to make to pay for that complete opposite of what you're seeing from the government you've got Boris Johnson saying I know there's a problem with energy prices but I'm not going to do anything about it and you've got the two leadership candidates quarrelling with each other in an internal fight um, about just how bad their record in government has been. When so people we, are... we are stepping up and actually putting a fully costed plan on the table that will help people through this winter. Is it enough, do you think, when people are really struggling? Well, we've been talking to people this morning about um, how they're going to cope through the winter and they are very, very pleased to hear an announcement that says we're not going to let those prices go up. So this is across the board. They're it's going a, up significantly, though, aren't they? It's a radical plan. Well, under our plan, they won't go up. That's the whole point. Um, the fear is that if the government doesn't step up, the prices, will, the, the average will go up from £2,000 or so to £3,500, then up again to £4,200. You only have to say those numbers. I'm sure many people watching saying, I can't afford that kind of money. So we're saying, we'll hold that back. We won't allow those prices to go up. And we'll make sure that those that are actually making a lot of profit out of this um, pay for holding those prices down. And that is the sort of plan that I think you know, people are very, very receptive to.